Hey everyone, it is me, TNT, and, and I am back with another really interesting tutorial. It's pretty long, but let's just get right on into it. So in this episode, I'm going to be showing you guys how to make this really cool house. I've gotten into the Halloween spirit a little bit. Um, I designed it myself. It's pretty good. Uh, I try to fit it into a 16 by 16 area. Uh, I failed just a little bit. Um, there's that. And then on the other side over here, I just did like a little bit of terraforming, showing you guys what you can do. Uh, well, to be honest, the real reason is there's a little bit of like redstone right here. I'm pretty sure I just had to cover that up. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, it's up to you guys if you want to make it. It's going to be a pretty long video, so I'm going to leave uh, links down in the description to like different parts of the video that you can go to. Uh, so I'm going to give you guys a quick tour to start out with. So first you go in uh, through the door, and I'm just going to make sure my sound is up. No reason, you know. Um, so we walk in, and you can see the bats everywhere. And if you listen to the background... Just in the background, you know. Um, <laughs> so when you enter the door, that's what happens. Uh, it just it looks kind of nice, you know, you can put the torches in everywhere, uh, wherever you want, and you don't have to have the bats in here. Uh, it kind of, I'm not going to lie, it looks like a little bit of a mess, but I like it, personally. So, uh, you can go through here to start out with, uh, and it just, it kind of looks like a regular little chamber, doesn't look like much. A um, few bats, a few tor torches, it's just, just a little room, you can do whatever you want in here. Uh, but I just wanted to show you guys that this is one thing that you can put in there. And, you know, a little secret area. And inside the chest is, okay, a lot of swords and axes. Because, you know, you always need your swords and axes for everyday things. But you can just close that up nice and fast. Uh, so that's one little room. Um, and, you know, sometimes in the winter it gets a little bit cold, so you need a little fireplace. And, of course, it extinguishes itself. You don't have to do anything. Um, and then, you know, if you're having a party, you got, you gotta dress up. You gotta dress up. So, we have a creeper. We have a skeleton. We have, oh, a dragon. I mean, like, I'm actually, oh, my bad. <laughs> um, 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 um. Haven't used that transition in a while. Anyway, we got this dragon, and I'm actually just going to, ooh. Oh my gosh, I literally am so bad at this. Oh, oh my, oh my gosh, I'm so bad at this. I'm, oh, oh my gosh, I'm going to put this on, and I'm going to take that off, and I'm going to destroy that. Sorry, guys, <laughs> I'm going to press the button. Uh, we got just a guy in armor. Uh, if he had, yeah, I don't, I don't, okay, sure, whatever. And back to the zombie. That's 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 nice, right? Uh, but if you come over here, you can see that we have a nice little slime block that we can just launch ourselves up to the second floor. Uh, over here, we have some nice little shutters, and we have our mushrooms that we can take care of. Uh, if we head over here, actually over here, um, oh, um, okay, sure, yes, okay, uh, okay, <laughs> um. Okay, over we can also head it through here uh, And you'll see that it's just it's literally it's nothing and you guys might be like TN why? TNT and why 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 do you have you done this? Uh, but you'll notice outside it's night and it's actually turning morning right now But let's just speed this up a little bit time set zero uh, you'll notice that this opens up so that we can sleep, so that we can make it night again. Uh, I know you can't actually sleep, but, you know, we, we can imagine. And if we set it to night again... Oop. Wait. <laughs> Time set 14,000. Then you'll notice that closes up again. Uh, so that's just a nice little thing that I added. Uh, and then if we head in here, uh, you'll notice, ah, <laughs> I hope I got a few people with that. I don't, I don't know. This is an old classic jump scare. 
I believe it's made by Mumbo Jumbo. I'm pretty sure it is. Not positive. Uh, but yeah, just a little jump scare that you can do. I like to do it personally. Uh, but yeah, that concludes my little house that I've made here. Um, also in the attic, it's just... You can look, it's just filled with bats. That That's always a good time. <laughs> you know, yeah, you guys can do whatever you want in here. I was kind of running out of ideas, honestly. Anyway, uh, so if you guys want to learn how to make all this redstone and the house itself, then make sure you guys stick around because uh, <laughs> I'll be showing you guys exactly how to do it. And, oh, uh, that sound is so unsettling. Uh, uh. So I have made this uh, square again, and it's 16 by 16. So, like, the inside square is 16 by 16. So from here to here it's 16 blocks and from here to over here it's another 16 you guys can build this if you want it's up to you it's not a big deal if you don't uh, but what you want to do is you want to leave a four block gap so one two three four and then the fifth block you want to start going around uh, the six uh, the 18 because this is 18 across uh, so you want to go into the 16 so you want to go into the 16 square and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. Uh, but once again, just leave a four block gap right here because you're going to bring it around this way. So 1, 2, 3, 4, and you leave that four block gap again. Then you bring it out this way. And then you bring it all the way across to the corner. And you bring it all the way across to the end too. And then what you want to do is you want to bring these walls up by seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Or you bring it up by six blocks. It's seven blocks in total. So I'm just going to go uh, around and finish it up myself. Now once you have this, uh, what you want to do is you want to count five blocks over. So one, two, three, four, and the fifth one you break and you can place your door right there now if you'd like to you can take out a pressure plate and you can just place it down to open it yourself it's totally up to you uh, whatever you're feeling like the thing is if you do place a pressure plate mobs can get in but if you're just playing on creative world it's no big deal especially if it's peaceful uh, and then you can just if you would like to you can take out a command block so you just go give your name um command block and you choose it like this it looks like that and then you'll receive a command block it'll, oh i forgot i had this on um and then what you can do is you can place it underneath like that place the block on top and then place your plate uh actually wait you gotta put the command in and i forgot what it is it's like play sound minecraft entity Enderman dot stare and then yeah, okay. Okay. I got it. I got it uh, So what you do So you just go over here you go down to your command block and you can either pause the video well, Wait, you could never mind. Uh, you go play sound and then you go entity dot Enderman and then you can come here and it's just this Dare one I believe and then you go player and then you go at P and then you hit done and there you go so now once you push this pressure plate if my sound is all the way up uh, then you'll hear the awful screaming noise that sounds like this I hope you guys can hear that Anyway, uh, so that's what it sounds like, and then uh, what you whoop, uh, what you want to do is you would want to come up here. Ooh, wrong stairs. Uh, I use dark oak stairs, and you place it all the way around like so. Uh, and you want it overhanging like this by one block, and you just do this all the way around which might take a moment um yeah this might take a few moments considering how bad i am at placing stairs <laughs> i mean like i'm actually i'm actually 
bad at placing stairs. That's a little bit sad. Oh my gosh. <laughs> I don't even think I'm going to cut this out because this is just hilarious how bad I am at placing stairs. Uh, anyway, and then you want to bring it up again. Anyway, so the next step is um, you come up here and you just place a roof on it. You actually want to bring it up by one block. I'm sorry, I kind of forgot to do that uh, before. I should have you guys brought it bring it up by another block. Uh, but you just make the roof this height now. So I'm going to finish this up. <laughs> oh my gosh. And I will be back once I have it all done. So now you should be having something that kind of looks like this-ish, sort of, maybe, yeah, no, maybe so. Uh, anyway, you want to come up by two blocks right here, and you want to place an upside-down stair just like that. Then I think you come over by, like, ooh, one or, I think it's one, ooh, one block, and another one block, like that, maybe? Let's just check, yeah, it's like that. And then um, you want to place your pot on it like so or on all of them and then you place the type of mushroom you want i like to do uh two brownish and then one red in the middle <clears throat> uh, and then you can come up onto the roof and what you can do is you want to place stairs just like this all the way around your building um this is going to be like the attic I suppose and just like makes it look a little bit nicer man I'm really bad at placing in stairs I hope you guys are much better at stairs and yeah I'll be right back once I have this all done because I'm really really bad at this now sadly for me we're gonna have to do another layer like this and I'm just going to let you guys know that once you're done with this layer you're going to be doing another oop you're going to be doing another layer so that's one two three and then once you're done with that layer you're going to be doing one more layer like that so just finish all of this off and I will too and it's gonna take me a little bit because you guys just saw how bad I am at placing stairs <laughs> uh, but yeah hopefully it shouldn't take me too too long so now you should be having something that kind of resembles what I have here. Uh, what you want to do is you want to take out these two blocks and replace it with glass. You can either do panes or you can do actual glass blocks. Um, it really depends on how I feel. Sometimes I do one, sometimes I do the other. Um, but you put those in and then you want to come up here on the roof and just so you, to make sure you go one, two, three, four. You should have four stairs going up. Uh, you come on the second uh, level and you go count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And on the eighth one, you can destroy that and you can place a little chimney. This is optional. You don't actually have to if you don't want to. That's totally fine. It's your house. It's not mine. Um, and then also you can do like this whole thing over here that I did. I don't really remember what it was. Uh, it's up to you if you want to do that. It uh, was actually just to cover up some redstone that I was doing. Uh, it's totally up to you, but once we get to the redstone, I'll show you guys like why that's there. Uh, anyway, so if you guys would like to, you can go and you can place some jack-o'-lanterns. I think that kind of gets into Halloween spirit a little bit. Uh, and then also put some mines. I think that these look awesome, especially in the desert desert they look actually like really cool for Halloween because they're all dried up uh, you don't have to do it every single one you can skip a few um, I like doing quite a few though uh, but like uh, for example I'll just skip that and you don't have to bring it so far you can just like do little bits I'll probably just do like that and then skip that uh, I'm going to go around and cover this whole thing up and I'll be back in just one moment so that is everything on the outside, um, so it's up to you guys if you want to just stop the video here and go right on into um, the just like design it yourself. That's totally, totally cool. In fact, I suggest you guys do that. Um, but if you guys want to learn some of the redstone, then we can head inside and I'll show you guys how to make all the different rooms so that's set for redstone. And man, I hate that noise. 
Uh, so first you want to go uh, to this wall right here and you want to count nine blocks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Uh, you want to fill that in. So that's, wait, wait, backtrack. So now you should have something kind of looking like this. Um, it's up to you guys if you want to just stop the video here and you guys can decorate the inside yourself and do the different rooms that you want. Uh, that's totally fine. In fact, I somewhat encourage it. Uh, but if you guys want to just put in all the redstone that I have and make it how I have it, uh, then I'll show you guys exactly how to uh, do that. First, you guys want to make a second floor. Uh, so I'm going to finish up with that. It's just three blocks, and then the fourth block you place uh, the roof. Well, not really the roof. It's the second floor, technically. Um, but it's the roof to the first floor, so <laughs> there you go. Uh, anyway, this is going to oh okay uh, this is going to take a little bit so I'll be back with you guys right when I am done with it so once you have uh, your second floor what you want to do you might have noticed I took out the door uh, you want to replace all of this with oh great I stepped on the pressure plate I hate that noise so much you know what sorry guys I, I can't stand it anymore I'm taking that out I, I it's just so annoying it's so annoying um, anyway, you place your door, uh, this is black, yeah, black glazed terracotta, uh, and you just place it all the way around for your floor, uh, this will definitely come in handy later for the slime ball, oops, uh, slime block bounce elevator, second floor getter thing, a bobby, uh, because slime balls don't interact with uh, terracotta and also it looks really cool for haunted house kind of uh, vibe anyway I'm gonna finish up with this alright so uh, once you have your floor filled in and your roof uh, I think we're ready to get started on um, the different rooms of the house yeah uh, so you want to go one you want to count one two three four five six seven eight nine ten you leave that one empty and then eleven you fill it back in and you can just bring this and fill this in. Uh, this is your uh, room with the chest with swords and axes or whatever you want to put in there. Uh, and then you can just place a door. Uh, you can either place a door here and place a button there and whatnot. Um, you can place it here and place a button there and whatnot. Um, or you can just not have a button or anything. And I think I'm going to do that for this house. Um, now, it's up to you this uh how this, this the the lever that's here um you can either have a lever if that's what you want or you can try and make it more secretive by doing something like um minecart a uh, hopper minecart and how this works wait rail is basically you place a minecart wait you place a block and then underneath that block, you place a minecart, uh, wait, rail minecart with a hopper in it. And then any uh, block that lands on top of this, uh, any any item that lands on top of this block will be sucked into that minecart until it reaches four, of course. Um, and this is really useful because then you can put this into a hopper. And from the hopper, you can have a comparator. Uh, and then that redstone comparator goes out into a signal basically opens up this chest and it's really cool so you can hide it in like many different ways it's totally up to you how you want to do it uh, but I'm just going to do an old lever uh, but before we get onto redstone and whatnot um, let's finish up with this house uh, so over here is kind of weird uh, it's seven blocks so one two three four five six seven actually eight blocks and I'm pretty sure that's the distance it's around there and maybe it's five blocks I'm not actually positive, uh, but the redstone here has quite a lot underneath, and yeah, it's a little bit weird. Uh, so this room right here with the armor uh, stand and costumes and whatnot, uh, what you want to do is you want to basically count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, then you want to fill it out on the sides, like so. Uh, so it looks a little bit longer, uh, 
because there's a lot of redstone that's involved underneath and in this direction, like these th uh, three or four blocks over here. Uh, so there'll, there will be a wall uh, like around here-ish and your armor stand will be there and your button will be here. Uh, it will be like that, but not now at least. That will put on our redstone later. Um, I'll show you guys how to make that thing to get up here a little bit later. I'm just going to light this up a little bit because I like to light it up while I'm building. It just helps with the video and it just looks a lot better, let's face it. Uh, so yeah, over here, uh, I do believe that it takes up two blocks and then this is your door. Your door will be right here, like so. And then I actually don't remember whoop, how many blocks this took up. I think it was just like like that, I'm pretty sure, but I'm not positive. I'm gonna go check. Yeah, that's correct. Uh, now the man with the ax on top of him isn't exactly redstone, but I'm still going to put it under, um, you know, redstone. Uh, like I'm going to do, I'm not going to do it right now. Uh, so if you guys want to learn how to build that, uh, actually there'll be a link in the description because it was not, I cannot take credit for that. That was someone else link in the description to their video. Uh, it's really cool. I don't remember their name, but I just still uh, suggest going and checking it out. Anyway, I'm going to get out a door, and I'm just going to place it right there. And now it's looking pretty good. So now for the rest of the upstairs. Uh, first of all, what you want to do is you want, for the jump scare room, uh, what you want to do is you want to bring this out. Uh, how many blocks is it? I know that's just two blocks gap between there so it's one two three four five so you bring it five blocks out and then you just cover that and you do all this Ooh, okay okay <laughs> like so there we go and then i'm also just gonna light this up because i just destroyed a torch over there uh and then i believe the door is here like here here? Yeah. Uh, we'll get to that later when we do the actual jump scare sort of thing. Uh, anyway, you want to come over here for the last room. You want to leave a four uh, by four gap. So one, two, three, four. So the block goes there. And then you leave one, two, three, four. Like so. So one, two, three, four. Perfect. Um, wait, 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 wait. I, th I think, I think, okay. One, two, three, four. So we destroy that block. And then this should be the fifth block. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, like, wait. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Okay, yeah, I think we're good. And then you bring this out seven blocks. So one, two, three, four, five. Uh, leave six empty and then seven. And you bring it out like that. The reason you leave this empty is because your door goes there. And then you just, once again, bring this, uh, bring the walls out like so, so that you have actual walls. This is going to be your bedroom if you are doing the redstone. If not, then this is just whatever you, room you want it to be. It can still be your bedroom, just not going to be filled with redstone. Uh, so with that, I think that our building is done. You can put a ladder or whatever here. Uh, so now I think I'm going to go on to the redstone side of things. Uh, if you want to make this little thing right here, it's just three um, to the side, three to the side, two to the side, and one to the side. And that is one, two, three, four, five, six blocks wide. Yeah, I think so. Uh, anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this little build. Now, if you guys want to stick around for the redstone, awesome. I'll be showing you guys how to do that. If not, adios, and I hope to see you guys on my channel again soon. Anyway, time for redstone. So, for the fireplace, what you will need is you'll need a dispenser. You'll need some nether rack, a redstone. You'll need a repeater, uh, just any block, some glazed terracotta in case, in case you take any of the floor out, flint and steel, and then I forgot a sticky piston, two of them actually. Uh, I don't really know how many of the other blocks you'll need, but you'll need quite a few of them more than likely. 
So once you have all of those materials, you want to come over one, two, three, four, five, six, and the seventh and eighth block. You place uh, two pieces of nether rack, and then you take out these two walls and you place some dispensers. And you can just fill this up right now with some flint and steel, both of them. And there you go. So now for the red redstone side-ish part of things. Uh, you want to come down here. Uh, oh, man, my bad buttons. You need those two. Um, anyway, you get some glazed tear. You place the sticky pistons under there. Put the glazed terracotta back. Uh, or maybe not now. Not quite yet. So what you want to do is you want to come down here. And you want to place some redstone. And then you want to make this little loop thing. And you want to place a repeater going right back into there. So now what will happen is if you place a button on top of this block and you press it, those both will fire up and then they'll both come down. So if this were to be lit, lit, light, lit, I, I don't know, um, then you'll press the button and it will extinguish both of them. Now that you have that, you just want to clear yourself out a little area over here. Uh, you will poke out outside, that's why I have that little building over there. It's to hide some redstone that pokes out. Uh, so you will probably need that too, unless you're not ashamed of having redstone everywhere. Uh, but you want to place three redstone going this way, three redstone going this way, one going this way. And the reason we don't come over here is because this will bug power that piston, I do believe. Uh, and then what you want to do is you want to come over here. Uh, you want to come over here, and then you want to place some redstone. And you want to bring that g going up here. Way up here and into... Um, my bad. So what you want to do is you want to come three, three. Uh, then you want to bring it out to the side a little bit, bring it up here a little bit, and then you want to come around, and you want to place a repeater going into this block that will hard power this dispenser, therefore power, soft powering this dispenser, making both of them go off at the same time. So now what you have here is this one will bring those up to extinguish it, but first we should light it like that, and then extinguish. Uh, to hide this, what I did, because you cannot cut off this redstone right here, uh, so I just grabbed some of these blocks and I put this terracotta back there and I just went like this and of course you want to do the same on the other side make it look symmetrical because let's face it it's a little bit ugly if you just have that there and people are like what what it's just a little bit nicer if you make it symmetrical uh, anyway now I believe that this is done, um, so yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this little nice furnace, if that's all you're here for, totally cool, that's fine, and I will see you guys later, and I hope to see you guys on my, well, I hope to see you guys on my channel again soon, and I hope you guys enjoyed it, if you guys did, then make sure to hit that like button, or the, and, and the subscribe button, uh, that really mean a lot, anyway, and to the next redstone thing. <laughs> So next, what we're going to be doing is we're going to do our little uh, lever thingy uh, that uncovers a chest. Uh, so what you'll need is you'll need a lever, uh, you'll need some redstone, you'll need uh, four sticky pistons. That's I know that you need four. I don't know how much redstone though, or how much how many levers you need. Uh, you'll need a few repeaters. Oop and you'll need ch a chest so get all these items and there might be a few more i might have forgotten a few uh and then come back to this video and i hope that i have everything i, I think i might might not i, I don't really oh comparators comparators you'll need a few comparators almost forgot uh, and then of course some blocks um that's pretty important too Oh, uh, so really fast, um, you should place your lever there, just get everything set up. Uh, two sticky pistons on the floor, three blocks down. 
and then dig out this block to the side and the other one to the side, place a sticky piston face in that way and do the same on the other side, and then also place a chest two down from the floor. Wait, right? Yeah, one, two down. Um, and then I think that's about it, except you might want to replace this floor uh, with bricks, just not terracotta because it will be having to pull things down. And like I said earlier, terracotta does not interact with um, piston, sticky pistons or slime balls. Um, so it can be useful, can be a pain. Uh, so yeah, let's get started right now. So to start out with, I just made myself like a little hole to get in and out just to make it a little bit easier on me. Uh, you want to find out where your lever is and you want to place the redstone on the other side of this block. Uh, then you want to bring that down and then down again and then down into he he here, I believe. Sorry about that. You got to actually bring it down uh, here and then bring it down here. Wait, what? What? Oh my gosh, no wonder this wasn't lining up. I put this redstone in the wrong place because my levers are right there. Uh, so then you want to bring it down here, down here, and then down here. And then you want to take out your repeater. And you want to put it two of them facing into these two blocks right here. So now what that should do is if you flick this lever on, it should put these two pistons up. So that will be useful to moving these blocks down. And then what will happen is these pistons right here will extend, pull these back, and then it will show your chest so that you can get your stuff. As of right now, I'm just gonna take those, uh, the blocks out. So now what you wanna do is you wanna come down here, place the redstone, come down one more, and then you kind of just want to dig this area up, find your piston, and also just kind of go into here, this area. Uh, then what you want to do is you want to take your comparators, and you want to place one that way, one that way. Place a bit of redstone, wait, bring them over here, sorry. Uh, place a bit of redstone like that. Place a block like that. And then place your redstone like that and that. And um, that's the first part, and then you want to come up here like this, and then put this facing like that into a piston. And I'm pretty sure now what will happen is if we place a block right here, up, and then it should, oh my gosh, so, so many errors, this is so hard to remember always something you gotta switch these uh, comparators like that right right I, th I think so so i think if we test it out now it should possibly maybe who knows work yeah yeah that's what you want and you'll see that your chest is showing and then it comes up really fast actually like it's surprisingly fast uh but now i just gotta do this side because this block will not be taken so what you want to do is you want to come over here uh, and you want to place your repeater and you want to go around all of this big mess all the way to the other side where that piston is I'm going to peek up here see where we are okay I think we might have to go let's see there is our a piston and we need to come over here here we go uh, so yeah it's kind of a big stretch uh, but what you want to do is you want to take your redstone and lay it out and when it starts to get dim and you see that's no longer giving off particles like that uh, then you will place another repeater except I'm going to move it back one because I have to make that turn and then you want to go here and once you reach here you just place another one like so and then all these are on one tick and then if you want it to look a little bit nicer and for it all to happen at the same time like both pistons then you want to count how many uh, 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 repeaters you use so one two and then that third one so three and then you set the ticks 
for this one to have as many as you did over here. So one, two, three, like that. And now if we head up to the top, you'll see that if we take this out and put it there, then both of them get taken down. And you see that it's separated there, but they'll not come up at the same time. Um, okay. And it was all because we forgot to set these to four ticks. Just make sure these aren't four ticks. And then you should have a finished hidden chest. Just like so. Just like that. Just how, however you want to say it. Uh, and then to cover this up, what you want to do is you want to take out a slab of whatever block you're trying to blend it in with. And then you can place that right here. Or you can't. Oh, right here and right here like so, so that doesn't block off the redstone. And then you can fill this back in, like so, and just like that. I think that should be it. Oh, except you want to take out that block. Uh, so there you go, that is your hidden chest. And if you guys, if that's all you guys wanted to watch, then I hope that you enjoyed it, and I hope that it helped you guys out. Um, and I hope to see you guys on my channel again soon. Uh, please like the video and subscribe if you found that useful. Sorry for the mistakes, and yeah, I think that's about it. Next is the slime bounce machine thing. Uh, literally, what you need is a slime block, a sticky piston. Um, I think you might, yeah, you need a button, I know that. Um, and then you'll need more of this uh, terracotta stuff, uh, glazed terracotta. And I think that's about it, maybe some redstone. Um, what you want to do is you want to take this out, and you want to replace it with terracotta. Uh, this is so that the piston doesn't get stuck. Uh, and then what you want to do is you want to place your piston slime ball. Take this block out. You can place it with whatever you want. Uh, but put some dust there, I'm pretty sure. Place a block on top and a button. Okay, so maybe not. Oh, that's because you also have to replace this with some terracotta too. Oops. Just like so. And you can either replace it with terracotta or you can just have air up to you. But now it should work. Oop, and I actually hit the ceiling that time. There you go. Uh, by the way, if you do not have a ceiling, this launches you up even farther. Like so. So yeah, that's a lot of fun. Really, really simple build. Uh, literally takes you two minutes and it can actually be surprisingly fun to mess around with. Um, so once again, if you guys enjoyed this, please leave a like, uh, subscribe would be really helpful, uh, super easy, and oh my gosh, I forgot to finish this off of the house, not a big deal, I mean, like, you guys can figure it out, uh, but anyway, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed this, and hope to see you guys on my channel again soon, bye, okay, okay, a uh, man with floating axe, it's designed by someone else, I stole it, link in the description to their video uh you guys can learn it there because i only have a limited amount of time to do all of this um second thing about the jump scare done by mumbo jumbo a link in the description to the video where he shows it really fun really cool uh, and then the daylight sensor for the room what you want to do is you want to just take all this and cover it up so that's only one block uh, and then you have to actually come over here usually this would be covered up I just forgot to um, but you just place glass instead and then you come over here you can place some more glass take out a daylight sensor like this and you want to put it right there I'll put it to subtract mode if you want it to close at night. And then just place something like that. 
and no that's not active so then you just close it up like that and then you can have the space if you want it's up to you and just place a bed uh, whatever color you'd like and just place it down like so and now if we set it to time set 14,000 or nighttime it closes up that's because wait a second wait a second it's night so we should have it close yeah yeah okay uh, and then if we set it today so we want to turn it to night or sleep well we can't really but you know then time set zero and it should open up and we can sleep so that is everything and I hope that you guys have enjoyed this oh um, if you have please leave a like on the video please subscribe to my channel it would really mean a lot it would help me out a lot um, there's some mess over here to cover this up by the way you just go one two three guys care to find out one two three it's like something like this and then you want to take a, uh, make sure you don't do it over there because you don't want to block the redstone and then you can just build this up if you'd like just like so really really simple uh, doesn't look great because I forgot to bring this up by uh, one more. Sorry, this is taking so long actually. Because this was for like another part of it. Not a big deal. But that is what it will look like. And then you can just do some terraforming to cover up this. It's not that big of a mess. So I think you guys can figure it out. Literally, you can just do something like... Like that and then t just just that will do we that will do that's all you gotta do uh so yeah thank you guys so much for watching and